Hello guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. And uh, today I'll be talking about the new Kakashi banner. And if you should, should summon on it or not. So it's two steps. So it's only 70 pearls. Um, not that much. And you're guaranteed him on the last uh, step. The second step. The first step um, is just normal 30 pearls. So as you can see right here, you're guaranteed him in the second step. And he's going to be here for two weeks, so you have uh, plenty of time to decide if uh, you should summon on it or not. And uh, he's uh, he's pretty good. Let me just show you his card right quick, or his unit. So, he has 50% uh, more increase to wisdom, dam or to wisdom units, he does more damage, 50%. Uh, he reduces wisdom damage taken by 50% if you have four dupes and then he uh, He has resistance for mobilization and due to ceiling by 40% so that's always good uh, 4 8 chakra Boost bravery attack by 250 350 and the buddy skill boost bravery attack by 350 Ninjutsu and nor substitution AOE Seven times attack toward them if they are wisdom typing, and if they are not, then it's five times attack to to them, and it knocks them back. So that's a uh, decent um, ultimate change. The element of one enemy in range, so it's single target to wisdom for three turns with 14 times attack toward them, and restores your own chakra gauge by three. So after you do the ultimate or the secret technique, uh, you'll get your chakra back, so you'll be able to do a ninjutsu. And that's always good, um, you know, very helpful. But uh, this Kakashi is good because of uh, he can change the typing. So uh, the only other unit that can do that, change it to Wisdom, is the Seven Star Sasuke and uh, the Bravery Sasuri, the Blazing Festival one. But I think I think he only changes the typing for like one turn. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think it's that long. So, if you don't have seven star Sasuke, or yeah, if you just if you just don't have seven star Sasuke, like you summoned and you couldn't get him, or if you don't have that much pearls and you don't want to risk losing them and not getting him, uh, this is a good alternative if you are looking to get him only because of um, he changes typing. Because uh, this will be useful, I feel like. Um, for super impacts, if you're trying to use an all bravery team, and you take this Kakashi, and uh, he is a wisdom type, so if you're trying to take him like on an all bravery challenge, then that won't work because he's a uh, wisdom. But it's good for super impacts if you just uh, don't care like what typing you need. You just need to complete it, and uh, you don't need to do those challenges where you can only take a certain typing. So yeah, he's good for changing typing. If you don't have the Sasuke. He's a good alternative for that. Um, other than that, though, if you already have 7 Star Sasuke, you can easily skip this unit. Um, so, if you if you don't have 7 Star Sasuke, but you want a unit that changes typing... Actually, he's a bravery type. I thought he was a wisdom type. Wow, okay, so that changes everything. <laughs> I thought he was a wisdom type uh, for some reason. He's a bravery type, as you can see right here. So, just like 7 Star Sasuke... Um, he'll be he'll be doing a uh, a lot of damage to wisdom type as you can see he has his abilities and he also is a tank so he's actually a really good unit um yeah so it's just like a, a weaker version of seven star Sasuke so if you don't have seven star Sasuke definitely summon uh, if you want that um, changing uh, if you want someone to change the typing so uh, ignore what I said before if you need an all bravery team and someone that changes typing so that you can nuke with your bravery units and uh, you can take him um, So that's amazing pretty good unit um, I don't, It's not a must summon for sure. It's not a must summon But he is also an extra effect for ninja road you get two times more coins and it's gonna be an extra effect for like almost two months and it's only 70 pearls so if uh, if you have like if you have the pearls, like, let's say you don't have seven star Sasuke, but you have like a hundred pearls, 
Uh, I would probably say summon if because the ch the typing changing like effect is really helpful. Uh, so that's good. Uh, if you have a whole bunch of pearls and you have seven star Sasuke, uh, I don't really think you need a summon, but it's up to you. I would say it's a skip if you have seven star Sasuke, but if you don't, I would recommend summoning just because he changes the typing, uh, and that's always helpful. So, and he's an extra effect, so might as well, right? It's only 70 pearls. You have two weeks to decide, so uh, keep that in mind. Pretty, uh, pretty decent unit, so it's up to you, but it's not a must summon. Uh, but it is only two steps, so that's the good thing about it. You don't have to waste that much pearls. Um, again, if you have Sasuke, 7 star Sasuke, don't summon unless you really want to. Because uh, the Kakashi does look cool. <laughs> if you don't have 7 star Sasuke. Then I recommend summon Kakashi. Just because he changes the typing. And he's a pretty good unit. So like his abilities and all that. Um, let me show you his extra effect. Uh, what do you call it? Extra effect. Uh, I guess like boost. So Ninja Road. Two times the number of Granite Cat Coins. After completing missions. So if you get... Um, 5,000 for completing the whole Nidro, then you end up getting 10,000 because you have him, but you have to have him in one of your teams. It doesn't matter if, uh, like, it doesn't matter if you use him or not, as long as he's in one of the three teams. So, uh, yeah, so it's pretty good if you're trying to grind up those Ninja Road coins, but it's not, uh, like, like that you need it, need it. It's just to make things faster, uh, for your, for you grinding, so. Um, yeah, I forgot to check the, the base rate, so let me go look at that, I'm sure it's 1%, or maybe more, just because they want you to summon, I'm not sure, let me see, alright, so it is 1%, let's see, who else is in the banner, so no one really special, um, just, you know, the regular units they usually have on other banners, so, uh, you are guaranteed him on 7 level 2, so that's always good. Um, so, if you want to summon, it's up to you. If you don't have Sasuke, 7 star Sasuke, summon. If you do have 7 star Sasuke, skip, unless you want him. So, uh, there you go. It's actually, I would say it's worth it. Uh, it's worth your pearls if you don't have 7 star Sasuke, just because of um, the type changing. Um, so, that's good. But, you know, I already said it multiple times, so... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know if you guys are gonna summon. And, uh, good luck to anyone that is summoning. I mean, you don't really need luck because you're gu guaranteed him a second step. <laughs> but still, um, you know, hopefully you get more dupes on the, on the way, on the first step or something. So you don't have to waste that much pearls. But, um, yeah, let me know in the, vi in the comments if it was helpful. Or you could just like the video if it was helpful. And uh, consider subscribing. I will be posting more Naruto content. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.